to my channel welcome to a home vlog it's hot today <sighs> it's honestly also let's just ignore my nails i need to pick them with my sister but she's always booked up and i try to do it myself and they just peel off i just it just doesn't work so yeah i need to go and get my nails done but anyway how are you it is boiling today i've got the double doors open here i haven't got these ones open because i've just kind of closed the curtain a little bit i sometimes feel like when it's hot outside having the doors open as much as the breeze is nice when there is one kind of makes everything a little bit hotter and i've started like getting a sweaty upper lip it's just it's just not good so i've got my fan on ignore the mess around it but this one i worked with them on instagram this isn't sponsored or anything but it's amazing um, I'll put my link down below because honestly it's incredible you fill the bottom bit up here with water and it comes with like ice packs that you put in the freezer um, so you can put ice in it in the ice packs it's actually cold it's like having an air conditioning unit it was a hundred and something pounds I can't remember exactly with my discount code um, but honestly this is like saving us because the front room is so cool so that's kind of where i've been like living at the minute i am by myself today with the twins and i'm so in shock that they have gone down for a nap it's already been an hour and 10 minutes this weather is kind of affecting their naps and stuff at the minute but again i've tried to like keep their room really cool we're kind of phasing out a nap at the minute we're at the awkward stage and we're trying to go down to two naps obviously if they're really tired they're still gonna nap and i'm not gonna stop them but this morning they weren't really that tired so i was like okay we'll try the first day without like the the really early morning nap and so far it's worked quite well because they've gone down for a while and they're in like a deep sleep so i've, I've definitely jinxed that let's be honest i'm gonna start filming this and they're gonna wake up but anyway it's fine at least i had the pleasure today of actually getting ready for once which is nice because usually i'm like doing it only when i'm with someone and i'm like can you watch the babies for just half an hour so i can quickly just put some makeup on and do my hair and make myself feel better but i thought i'd put on a cute dress i actually wore this i think this dress is the one that i wore for my engagement and also i filmed like the baby like twin reveal video it's just such a stretchy but comfortable dress and it was like 35 pounds from amazon and they do loads of colors so i think i might buy more for this year because nothing fits me since having babies so yeah anyway anyway i have a sweaty upper lip probably shouldn't have even more makeup today but i just getting ready is like my little bit of me time that i get throughout the day and it's like i can put youtube on just have a little bit of me time and it's quite nice and i just really enjoy it i had a life coach once and he actually said to me that getting ready and like doing your hair and makeup is a form of therapy because you just zone out and it's so true so i try and prioritize that when i can and obviously if i want to because let's be honest a lot of the time i do not look like this the other day i got ready and i said to bradley is it weird seeing me get ready now because i don't actually look like this all the time and he was like no but i know he's just trying to be nice anyway 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 this is a really long intro in today's video i want to film like a house updates video I've got some things that I want to show you, some new furniture and stuff in the garden, which I'm so excited about. And I also wanted to make the twins official play area, which I've been speaking about literally since they were born in December. And I finally got a perfect little play mat, which is the most aesthetic play mat ever from a brand called Totter and Tumble. And they really kind of gifted it. And I wanted to unbox it. Honestly, they said, here's the rug, you're not obliged to post or anything like that. But I just wanted to share it and we can make the twins cute play area we don't have any more rooms for like an actual play room and obviously when they're older they're going to play in their actual bedrooms a lot um but this is like the dining area and obviously it leads into the living room over here this look at one of their slippers on the floor and a leaf i mean why wouldn't you have a leaf there um this is going to be the play area i took one of these boxes out by the way in the garden because we were in the garden this morning just playing um but yeah i want to unbox the rug i kind of want to put it here i want to move the dining table up a little bit and just kind of make this a little bit more like kid friendly um i can put all their stuff there because they're constantly in here but i just want them to have more space and then obviously they can play in the living room but i thought at the same time it's nice to have like a dedicated like place for all of their toys and they love sitting in here and like talking to each other and i thought it's really good because i can put it here then i can get on with stuff if i'm in the kitchen i can't see what they're doing in the front room um so i don't really like to do that unless they're with me or someone's in here looking after them 
Um, so this way I can just watch over them and they can play and obviously I'll play with them but if I like need to make bottles or whatever it's just perfect and this is their new little jumper room that we got from Argos I'll pop a link to that down below because it's so good I literally picked the cheapest one because you know what babies are like they're not going to be in them for long and I just thought I'd get one because we don't need two there are some things I've learned since becoming a twin mum and I mean majority of the stuff we get in twos because like high chairs you need two high chairs <laughs> we need to feed them at the same time things like that one of them could be playing on the floor or like on their back or whatever and then the other one could be in there and it's nice to kind of swap because babies get bored quickly and <laughs> you kind of have to like have a little system so it kind of works really well anyway let's unbox the rug before the twins wake up because that's my goal and i can see romy's hand moving okay quickly but i hope you guys are doing well i've missed you don't know if you can tell i also want to film it for instagram so just ignore my tripod <laughs> i can't really move it so just pretend that's not there but this is kind of behind the scenes as well so broken up but I managed to actually unbox the rag which is good good morning you had a lovely long nap didn't you you and your brother it always happens people always ask me with twins let me just put you down guys my hair has like look how frizzy it's getting and like you can see the curls aren't the curls that I curled they're like sweat curls it is so hot I'm really sorry my battery died so I had to go and get a new one um, I've just put the twins in their bounces but I just think it's hard in the UK I just it makes me so excited for autumn winter I'm so sorry I'm so sorry if that offends anyone although I do love the light so I wish it was just sunny but just like the crisp in the air do you know what I mean anyway let's quickly finish this because I'm not gonna get it done otherwise and yeah so far it looks so cute I just don't know whether to put let me show you I love it and this is also reversible as well so you can have it this way I actually think I really like this way but um, I'm just gonna keep it like this for now and then I can just change it and it's really easy to wipe I don't know whether to move the rug upwards and put that on it or is that just gonna like take up a lot of the rug so I'm gonna leave it like this for now see how we get on because if it slips and stuff then i'll just put that on i don't really know what to do to be honest i'll have a little think and then let you guys know if i'm being honest i need more of the space not the like aesthetic vibe okay so this is just how it's looking so far so the goal is over time like in here is all their toys which is what i love it's just a hack to have all their toys out of the way it doesn't look like this obviously because we've just put it out but Everywhere is a mess usually, and it's so nice just having a place to just chuck. Look, all their toys, <laughs> literally these are everywhere. Um, and these are so good. This is a unit from Ikea, it's the Kallax unit. And I really like the wood, um, and it's just easy. And the boxes are from Ikea as well. I mean, they're not the most sturdy, if I'm being honest, but it's fine, like for their toys, it's absolutely fine. But yeah, it's gonna be nice for them to play here. This is memory foam as well. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I kind of wish I did it this side as well because, I mean, both are lovely. Let me know which side you prefer. But obviously, we're still going to move things everywhere. It's not going to stay here forever. Like, I can move things into the living room. But they finally got a little play area. All right, let's put them in there. Look. You know this is your teddy. Oh, I think it's nice for them to kind of have space that's in a different area and like lie down because all the flooring apart from in the living room downstairs is this hard floor so hi and it's a bit nicer because what i'm gonna do well actually ask Bradley to do um this is our old furniture ignore the poop in the window <laughs> i think there's a nest upstairs little sneak peek over here this is our old garden furniture which Bradley's mum and dad kindly gave to us but we're gonna give it back to them because we have new furniture um, and I think his brother's having this actually. So once this is gone, because Bradley needs to drop it, it's gonna be nice to have the double doors open, like fresh air in here, and it's just gonna be so nice. Also guys, um, this is memory foam, hello. This crab, okay, is from Shein, and I saw this all over TikTok. It's the most annoying noise ever, but if you want your babies to be occupied, like look, they already know. Are you ready to listen? 
It's so annoying. They love it. And it encourages them to like roll. But this is the only noise it makes. And it makes me want to go crazy. But they love it. Yay. Oh. He's so good. I probably go over. He's crazy. Hi. It's just the sound. I just can't deal with it. We were dancing on a wire. We found holes in these walls We like what we saw Seems so strong until it falls the fire These seats, by the way, are incredible. They're from Mums and Papas. Um, again, I'll pop a link to them in the description box down below because I really like the colour. They do a couple of different colours of like the seats. This is, I think, called clay, I think. Um, but I love it. And they absolutely love it. And you can take the little toy off. Hello! With like pulling these. And then you can put other stuff on their tray and you can feed them. It's just so good. You love it, don't you? Yes. I'm just making them some water. But what I do is I use our Tommy Tippy machine because obviously it's filtered. I just get rid of the hot shot first and then use the cold water after, and that's just what they drink. Um, they don't really drink a lot of water, but it's hot, so I feel like they'll appreciate it. My makeup is melting off. Don't know why I bothered. Don't know why. It is, I'm gonna say this a million times, it's just so hot. I put the fan like more in the front room and like done it on the rotate, so. It is feeling so much cooler, but I can't even explain to you how nice it feels to have this play area already, and it's been like five minutes. It's so nice, isn't it? Do you like your play area? They're not fully sitting yet. Romy's like, he'll do it for a minute or two, and then he'll slowly fall, but then Marley rolls really quickly. So yeah, it's just funny, isn't it, with twins, like how different they are, obviously. So you're probably wondering, like, this fireplace, it isn't really safe here, there's not really much point. Obviously, when they start crawling in that, they could grab the little stones. So what my plan is, is to move this fireplace, don't really know where, um, and I saw this hack on Instagram. Do you want your, do you want the drums? Here you go. And then do you want the water? You like the water one don't you bubba so yeah i saw this hack on instagram and if you get the long version of the calax and basically put it like here you can block off this area as if it's a playroom but you've also got more storage for toys and it looks really nice and like aesthetic but it kind of yeah like blocks it off so then this kind of feels like a private like separate room if that makes sense because it's kind of nice at the end of the day to just pack all the toys away and not really see a toy and just have like time for me and Bradley to watch our series and just chill so yeah I think over time that's what we're gonna do get another one of these I don't know whether to get this color or white and just basically put it here like the long version and then block off this room um, and yeah I think it'll look really good should I get your water boys So it's been a few hours since I've spoken. I've changed my dress because I was feeding the twins and obviously I didn't want to get food on my white dress. Um, so I'm just in this one, which is a little dress from, I think Tesco's last year actually. Bradley is also home. Where are you Bradley? You can see <laughs> what do you think of the play area? Awesome. It's going to be so fun for them to have like their own actual little area. I know. It'll be nice for us as well because the lamp can stay tidy. Exactly. Exactamont. Um, Bradley also kindly just went to Tesco's. I forgot to say, 
obviously I need to show you the garden. I'm going to do that tomorrow because we've got Bradley's mum coming around tomorrow. And Bradley's working from home tomorrow, so I'm pro we'll probably set up the garden nice anyway. Um, so I'll do that reveal tomorrow. This area here, we've actually got a bookcase, which I'm so excited about, um, going there from a brand called Mobili Fiber, I think. However, they did send a parcel, but annoyingly, only one of them's come. I think there was a problem with delivery or something, I'm not sure. Um, but I have emailed them and they're like, oh no, it's fine. We're gonna send a replacement or something. So that should happen maybe next week or the week after. I'll keep you guys updated because I can't wait to have like a proper bookcase area. Oh, look at my hair. I literally put it in a ponytail because the curls dropped. Um, and also I'm thinking, the bookcase is obviously there. And then maybe here I could put the fireplace, which is there because obviously it's, it's gonna be hidden in the play area. So there's not really any point for that. So we'll see. If not, we can find a place for it in the front room. I'm never getting rid of that fireplace. I just love it. Um, so yeah, just wanted to let you know that. Also, Bradley went to Tesco's and I thought I could show you what he got. Does guys, okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, you're funny, Bradley. Okay, so this is our little mini Tesco's haul. We basically just got dinner in for tonight, and then some bits for the twins, and some yogurts for me. So for dinner, I said to Bradley, I just fancy something like summery. So we're gonna have. Are we having mozzarella or, or halloumi? I got both. Okay. I'm okay. Um, we've got a salad. And we're gonna have, I thought it was halloumi, but clearly mozzarella as well. Um, okay, sorry, my memory card was full. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a salad. We've got halloumi, mozzarella, croutons, avo, which to be fair, oh, there's so many annoying flies, which is just frustrating. It's so annoying, because you wanna keep the doors open in the summer, but the flies, oh, they do my head in. Um, yeah, maybe some avocados, and then obviously pepper, and then cucumber. These are my favourite yogurts. I love the blueberry ones. Bradley, maybe that's where the twins get it from. They're obsessed with blueberries, oh, like me, like anything what? flavour. I'm obsessed with blueberry, aren't I? Like blueberry yogurts. Oh, yeah. They get it from me. Um, so yeah, I like to have these for breakfast or like a snack or something. 20 grams of protein and it just keeps you full for ages. And they are just so tasty. I love them. They're really thick. This is for the chicken. We've got a whole chicken over there, so we're gonna have that for the salad. Oh, you've got posh Caesar dressing. Um, and then we've got some pouches for the twins. So we're kind of doing a combination of baby led weaning and also purees, because I get a lot of questions on it. Um, we're kind of doing a combination, so yeah. We're gonna have, so yeah, these are some pouches that they love. They love the blueberry ones, but um, there wasn't any today. Greek yogurt. This is what the twins absolutely love. We only tried it with them maybe three or four days ago. And I get really nervous giving them new foods. I think it's just like a normal thing, obviously, because you don't know if they're going to be allergic or not. Um, but they absolutely love Greek yogurt. And I mix it with like a fruit puree or like I squish up some raspberries or whatever and they love it. They love avocado, which is really good because these are really fatty and really filling. Um, and then just some nappies and wipes. So that is the little Tesco's shop for today. So yeah, I need to put all of this away now. And then we need to do the twins evening routine. And obviously, as you heard, football's on tonight. So Bradley said that <laughs> we need everything done for then. Okay, so my necklaces are all tangled, so let's ignore that. For dinner, I do make, by the way, my own. My mum's put my ginger shot in here. Um, but I do make like pureed broccoli. Can we? Yeah, ignore my nails. And sweet potato. But 
they had some of this for lunch and they literally demolished it and it's sweet potato broccoli and carrots what i'm going to do is get some carrots puree it and then kind of mix all three together because they loved it um so yeah i think i might do this for dinner i get a bit scared talking about like the twins stuff and what they're eating and things like that because there's so many people like you need to do baby led weaning you need to do this don't do this i think everyone's got such strong opinions on everything but i think whatever works for you and your babies that's all you should worry about um so like i said we're kind of doing a little combination so yes and um, what do i need from the fridge let's try mango with the yogurt So this is what we're having tonight. <laughs> well, what they're having tonight. Um, so I mixed the mangoes, pears and papaya pouch with the yogurt and then I added some more here. They've never had these before, but it says from six months and we're trying new things every day. So this is their new thing they're gonna have today. Um, we've got just mashed up avocado and then the sweet potatoes, broccoli and carrot pouch here. So yes we're gonna give this to them now and then hopefully they'll like it i'll let you guys know how they get on so i basically gave them a similar lunch like that for lunch and they slept for two and a half hours because of how much they ate so yeah if you're in the process of like weaning and stuff it's i really enjoy it because it's so fun watching them like try new foods and stuff but also i absolutely sorry i'm just trying to set up for feeding time it's feeding time at the zoo um it's also really nice like seeing how full they are and like it just makes me feel really satisfied because every time i eat a big dinner i want to sleep after to be honest so hopefully they'll be hungry enough for this and then sleep even better tonight good morning everyone it's now the next day look at this i mean this is why me and summer are just like that this is what happens to my hair i feel like i cannot style it in the summer because it is frizz even my extensions have adapted and they're frizzy i just don't understand honestly it drives me insane and i spend ages curling it for it to look like this <laughs> i look like hagrid i actually look like hagrid so I'm gonna put it up because I just I just can't deal with it. Honestly, it's just driving me mad. I actually debate whether to take my extensions out in the summer because it, what's the point? Like when I style it, it doesn't even last anyway. Um, I'm just gonna pop some matcha hair oils from Rehab. It's such a gorgeous brand. Look how many I've used. I've used so many. Um, and these are really good because you apply these ones to your scalp. So these help with growth instead of, I think the original, which I literally used the whole pot, um, these are for your actual hair. I'm not even joking. I have never used hair oils before that have made my hair feel how they feel. And I think I didn't realise how soft my hair was until I ran out. So I need to order some more. They always sell out. So I need to be quick. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop this on my head. I think you're actually meant to. you meant to use this before actually. And it kind of brings the blood to your head. And then... I think your pores open a little bit for the oil to kind of seep into. Um, but yeah, my hair's grown so much recently. Like this is obviously, this is nothing on my scalp. And I look back at like pictures and videos of my hair loss and I didn't realise how bad it was until, you know, sometimes you look down and you can see like it's all sparse. Yeah, there's no other product on my hair. So I'm really, really happy with my hair growth. I think I use hair burst religiously every single day. Like I take their vitamins. Um, and I really love the scalp serum. That one's in the bathroom at the minute, but I thought I would just try this one. And do you know what? It's so hot, these aren't even snapping off. They're like bending. Can you see that? It's just so hot. I don't know where my scissors are. Normally, these are really hard to open. Great, I've got it on my forehead. I was gonna do a low ponytail, but this literally looks like a rat's tail, so I think I'm just gonna do a bun. Um, and I'm just going to pop the miracle spray on the ends because I need a miracle for this to go down. Anyway, it is the next day. It is the hottest day of the year today. And it's 
just really hard isn't it when you've got babies to know what to do because it's just boiling like i want to start taking them to the park and all that kind of stuff but it's just too hot like we're lucky we have a garden um so i just take like the tent out and leave them in the shade and with all their toys and stuff like that and we just fill the paddling pool up so when they wake up from this nap i think we're going to put them in the pool um but we keep going in and out of the house. There's no point kind of going anywhere yet because it's just too hot. Okay, I'm just gonna do like a slick um, photo. Um, also, I had questions on my last video about my eyelashes <laughs> and everyone thinks I'm like being really secretive about it. I promise you I'm not. And also I do wash my eyes. So many people are like, you don't wash your eyes. But I think because I take my eye makeup off, but because of the eyelashes, it kind of looks like I've got stuff on my eyelids and I've got naturally dark eyelids anyway so it kind of looks like um, I've got like makeup on them but I don't. Um, anyway, the reason I don't show you guys how I do my lashes is because it's ruined my natural lashes and I feel like it wouldn't be good for me to promote that if that makes sense um, because I've done it for maybe two years now. I wouldn't, uh, my natural lashes haven't like ruined completely but, oh god, I've got oil on my forehead now. But what I'll do is I'll pop a link to the actual lashes that I use because they're like cluster lashes um, in the description box down below. And if you guys want to shop them, you can. It's completely up to you, but I just don't want to promote me doing it and showing you guys how I do it because I just don't want people to come for me, basically. They just literally look like this. And I get them on Amazon. And they're like cluster and i like the length i think it's called 11 millimeters or something they're just my favorite but you can use glue you can apply them um i've seen some brands they sell like um it's like at home lashes but they're cluster lashes as well they're a bit bigger than those and you put them underneath your lashes which makes it easier to do yeah there's loads of lashes like that i think there's a brand called amore lashes i saw them promote on instagram um so yeah i promise you i'm not like <laughs> purposely hiding and keeping a secret from you about my lashes i just feel like i'm not gonna show you guys how i do it because it's not the safest way <laughs> to do it but anyway oh it does feel nice to have my hair up but when i have a bun it is really heavy because of the extension but anyway we've got bradley's mum coming round i think in about 45 minutes the twins are asleep which is good they've had a nice long sleep i literally started their new routine yesterday and so far it's going really well today as well um but i've managed to get ready get stuff done and um, they are getting at the age though where they're playing a lot more in their play mat so like i can kind of watch them on the play mat or or in the new play mat that we got and i put up yesterday and stuff and then i can like wash bottles and things like that like i find it a lot easier and i know it's only been a day but already i'm like okay i can see a difference okay my hair doesn't look great but it's not my face. I've oiled it up so it feels healthy. I just put two in. These are honestly so fun to do. And these are biodegradable, so you can literally melt these in hot water, um, which I think is so good. Any of you guys use these, the smell reminds me of something and I don't, I, like, I can't put my finger on the smell, but it's really nostalgic and it reminds me of like when I was younger. And it's just, I don't know if it's like a perfume that I had or something. Or like a body spray i don't know but it just the smell reminds me of something from my childhood and i just can't put my finger on it so if you know or like you have these and the smell reminds you of something too please pop it in the comments because i just i don't know what it is but it, they smell incredible and i love the shade of the green like the matcha love it anyway i'm gonna get out of my dressing gown put some clothes on and then go downstairs so i'm now downstairs um, I received a parcel at the door from Febreze and B&M and this is the really lovely plug-in and I can't even explain to you how nice this box smells. It's actually filling the room um, and it's Blossom and Breeze. This is incredible. So it looks like this and I love these. I actually have one over there in the plug over there. Um, so I'm really excited to put this one on because this smells incredible and then they also sent some rose eye gels which I'm assuming you can get these in B&M microfiber hair towel pink one and then this is for the bathroom um, and again this smells incredible so yeah I'm going to pop this in our bathroom now and I think you like push this down 
Okay, Bradley is just getting the twins because I think they've woken up. But for lunch today, we're literally gonna have leftovers from dinner last night. So, oh my God, these flies are everywhere. Um, I made a salad and then chicken and then I'm just gonna put some Caesar on it, croutons and then cook some halloumi. I just started eating it and realised I didn't show you but I've got a slice of tiger bread and then this is the salad all mixed up it's so nice and then I just mix the chicken with it and then we've got a couple of halloumi on top it's honestly so yummy good morning guys it is now the next day I thought I could finally show you the garden um I still need to do my nails. I'm gonna do that today, actually. I put the gels that I have. I mean, you're gonna laugh at me, but our fridge needs a serious organization. I mean, this is the only organized part, and I love it. Um, anyway, I put the gels, or the builder base, whatever it's called, um, that I use in the fridge, because basically, it says the colder it is, the thicker the consistency it is. Because it's so hot, it's so hard to paint it. I'm doing like a million layers and I think that's why it's peeling off. So I put it in the fridge and I'm going to do it later because I absolutely hate not having my nails done. I hate it. It's like the worst thing. Anyway, my sister came around today and she really kindly brought me my favourite prawn salad from m &S. Um, honestly, it's my favourite. So I'm going to have this for lunch in a second. But I thought I could quickly show you. And I showed you guys, I think in my last vlog, my ginger and lemon. Um, it's that time again. I, before we put the twins to bed yesterday, I just used our machine, which is this one here. I'll pop a link to it down below. It's from Amazon. And it's really good because you basically need your ginger like grated. I use so much ginger way more than you probably should but i like it really strong um and i've just boiled the kettle and i show you guys in my last video how you do it but i do a full kettle because i like it to last me and bradley the whole week so you basically bring this to the boil and then you turn the hob off and then you let it cool and like sit here for 45 minutes and then you drain it um, it's really simple. It sounds like a really complicated process, but I think once you do it like one or two times, it's really easy. Okay, sorry, I'm out of breath because I had to run upstairs and change the battery. So yeah, that's in the hob. And then with the like machine thing that I have, and also juice from it as well. So I juiced some lemons. There's quite a lot in here. I might not use it all. I could put the rest into the freezer, like into like little freezer things, because that'd be so nice with like fresh lemonade or something. Um, and then I also have fresh apple, um, and then yeah, you kind of just sieve it all and then you can shot it every day. So yeah, I always talk about it. I do it every week and it's so, so good for you. I've also just popped some washing here and opened the double doors. Basically, I need a washing line and I just need one so badly. But every time we take this outside, it falls over because it's just too light. So I've just kind of kept it by the doors to like give the fresh air. Um, anyway, I want to show you guys our new garden furniture but before i'm going to show you the process of me and bradley like putting it up and everything i say me it was definitely bradley just putting it up been in the garden and then a before and after as well me and bradley have just had oh, look at my hair sorry about this but i just i can't be bothered to do it i just don't have time to do it so i'm really sorry i've just literally bung up in a ponytail but yeah me and bradley have had a really exciting delivery for the garden from dusk and I wanted to film like a really summary video today, but also a garden transformation. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. The bits from dust were really kind of gifted. I'm gonna pop the link to them down below if you guys are interested. But are you ready? I mean, it's in boxes now, but we'll do a time lapse. Also, I'm in my dressing gown, leggings and sliders. Let's not judge. now i've just sweeped but i wasn't very good at sweeping 
and Bradley's unboxing it and I keep putting the recycling in the wrong bit so he's telling me off so I'm just gonna stand here and wait <laughs> if we take the plastic off how many boxes left five <laughs> Okay, so now you've seen that, you know what it looks like. This is our pool. <laughs> it's obviously really shallow for the twins. I think it was like five pounds or something from Tesco's, but they love it. Um, so yeah, this is our garden furniture. We're obsessed with it. Honestly, thank you so much to Dusk for really, really kindly sending it because it's just, everything's amazing. You can see the color of it and the quality up close. I need to wipe the table. Um, I want to get some cushions for it. I want to get more plants to kind of go around. I said to my mum, I want to go to the garden centre and get like actual plants to like put around here because I think it'll look really nice. We do have this one, which I really love. Um, that one was from Asda. I think it was like two pounds or something. I got it last year when I was pregnant. <laughs> I remember it being in the sale. That's the cover for it, by the way. And Bradley's just put the twins muslin over the top. Don't know why. I'm assuming to dry or something. But yeah, we're honestly so obsessed with it. And I thought over the next few weeks, we can like accessorize it together. Um, I really want to go to B&M hopefully this weekend. So hopefully I can find some things for that because we love being in the garden. And then also these lights here are from Timu. And they're insane. They're so they're solar powered ones you can see it charges like through the day but they're so bright in the night and it just makes the garden really luxury um so yeah we love those and it's just looking a little bit nicer out here it's quite overcast today but it's quite a nice temperature so i just wanted to pop on and end this video here i tried to film this on my camera but my battery is dead basically so i thought i'll just get my phone out um i just want to say thank you so much for watching as always i love you guys so much i'll try and pop links to everything that i mentioned in the description box down below if you guys have any other links or anything just let me know and i'll try and pop them down there as well um i'm so happy with the play mat and the garden furniture we had our family round yesterday and it was just so nice to have everyone just around it and it's such a sociable sort of garden set and it was just so nice so yeah i'm really so yeah i'm really happy with it i'm happy with the play area it's so easy as well to keep tidy like i've been using it obviously the past few days and it's just made such a difference and the front room just doesn't feel as cluttered it just feels really nice and like breathable um and yeah everything just feels really good i also got an exciting delivery today i'll show you guys that in my next video